Hey guys, welcome back to another fishing video. This is going to be 2023 fishing part 2, or episode 2. It's Friday evening, about like 5.30. 5.30 p.m. Uh, probably about like 65 degrees, 65 degrees out, and pretty cloudy, as you can see. Um, I got a donkey rig on, and I use a Sharpie to, I'll show you real quick. I used a shar Sharpie to color the Zoom Super Flukes to look like Shad. I also got a little bit of red on the Zoom Super Fluke to make it look a little injured. So hopefully we get a bass on today. I didn't bring any of my trout stuff today, so hopefully all we catch is bass. If we do get, I wouldn't be surprised if we caught like a catfish or a crappie today. But I haven't heard anyone catch a crappie out of the the uh, the big pond this year. Um, I did catch a catfish right over that corner. It was a little black bullhead. Like, I've never caught a real, I've never caught, like, an actual catfish, like a channel catfish, flathead, or a blue cat. I've just caught all bullheads, uh, which were a yellow bullhead, well, actually two yellow bullheads, and then a black bullhead. And they also got brown bullheads in here, I think, and some channel catfish, but, I don't know, I could, I could do some catfishing in here next year, like, with hot dogs. That'd be pretty cool. But. My shoes are very soaked because it rained earlier today. Um, yeah, we're going to go over to the big pond because I really doubt I'm going to see anything in this in the littler pond. Even though there's bigger bass in here, but there's more bass in the bass pond. I don't, I don't really care if I catch a dinks or today, but yeah, it's October. So I'm just going to take a cast out in the tiny pond. Oh, yeah. See, it doesn't cast the farthest, but far enough, I guess. Let's hope I catch a fish on the camera this time. See, uh, Gabe, who's no longer my friend, who's my friend that I was in the last video, and my brother, they're up fishing the creek. They're going upstream for some brown trout today. They wanted, they wanted me to go, but I said, I'm just going to go bass fish today. But, yeah, so... We'll just see what goes on today. I think I'm honestly going to make a full lap. It's raining a little bit, actually. I'm going to make a full lap around the whole entire big pond. We'll start off over here, though, because this is my lucky spot. It's shallow, and... Yeah, there's a pipe right here that usually has bass in it. This water, hopefully, is still clear, but I'm not sure. Take a cast off from here. Okay. Here's the pipe right here. Right, oh, right here. In. Okay, um, so what the heck is that? There's no way that's a turtle. Hold on, I have to check this out. I'm just gonna touch it. That ain't a turtle. I'm gonna say, there's no way that that's a turtle. Alrighty. 
It's starting to rain a little harder, but... Yeah, if this don't work, I'm going to tie on a spinner bait or something. And hopefully we catch something. Alrighty. Well, um... This water is pretty clear. So it looks like if we're going to be throwing a spinner bait, it's going to have to be silver. Or I could just throw a black and blue chatter bait. That'll probably work too. I'm not going to stay here too long. I don't want to stay. I'd rather be moving than just standing still. Alrighty. I really hope I at least catch something. I don't really know if I am, but we'll try. We will definitely try. I think I'm going to cast up on these, this little snag up here. <laughs> like I've really been throwing Texas rigs and these snags and stuff. Obviously not getting snagged, but I've been getting bites. So, they're obviously in there. Like, see these trees sticking up? Let me just throw it in here. Just throw it a little ahead of the tree. And just reel it in. Go on the other side. And do the same thing. Just obviously casting a little far ahead of the snag because now that it's fall, they're going to know that you're coming. Alright. Let's keep going forward. Oh, there's a boil up there. It's probably a carp. Yeah, up there. Probably with a carp. Cleaning off the lens just in case if it is foggy. Um. Alright, so there's a person right there. Trying to be too well, but. Okay, so these trees, especially these trees right here, they're much thicker. There's honestly a pretty good chance that we'll, we'll get some. I already saw a boil. Alright. I'm gonna think I'm just gonna cast right through these. Alright, let's go. I'm surprised nothing was in there. Well, there's more snags over here. And this is where I caught the bass last time. It was... So, the bass I've been catching here, they have been obviously, like, probably like 9, 10 inches long. But they are very chunky and fat. So they've obviously been eating well. I'm just going to throw... I don't know. Throw up here. I'm gonna try to cast under the bridge. Usually these bass are under this bridge for some reason. Like they were always 
over on that side of the lake. Now they're over on this bridge. But okie dokie. Okay. I'm probably gonna get a backlash, but let's go. No backlash. I'm obviously setting the hook. I'm obviously jerking it like I'm setting the hook. Um, because it's a Texas rig, you're gonna need to set the hook a little harder since it's obviously weedless and you're gonna need to get it you're gonna need to get the the barb of the hook at the point of the hook exposed so you can really get that hookup ratio because most Texas rigs are covered like the points so they're weedless but all right So, over there, there are, I don't know what it was last time, it was either a big bass or a turtle. I just spooked something. All right, let's see what this is. I don't even want to cast out far. Alright. Okay, um I may switch to a different I may switch to a chatter bait. I'm across this bridge and we'll uh, We haven't gotten bites or anything, so Let's just hope that we at least catch some. Okay. All right, let's do this again. Alright, so I just crossed the bridge. I'm gonna go change lures. Alright. Just go up to one of these. 
thumbs up here and set my stuff down. No. Uh, I think I'm going to tie on a chatterbait. Yeah, I'm going to tie on a chatterbait. But hopefully we catch something. Mm. Alright, so I need to set my bag down real quick. My scissors out. Just cut this off. Bam, bam. Okay. See, so yeah, I put a sharpie on here and just color on it. See, it's not even coming off. It's pretty cool. But. Okay, so. Yeah, I think these are size so three swivels, barrel swivels. I don't know. Um, sorry if I don't want my bag getting so Just get one of my lure lock tackle boxes out. Set it up on here. Just grab these and just put them. Uh, this is all my like my extra tackle, so. Yeah. And my bladed jigs. Oh, that tails chartreuse. But so I'm black and blue because black and blue works really well when it is cloudy out. Okay, so. See, I like to cut off my, so whenever I'm cutting off a lure, to put a new lure on, I usually cut off the knots, because I see some of the people with, like, knots all over here. Oh, it's starting to rain a little harder. Never mind. I'm gonna go do this under the pavilion. It's just kind of wet. Alright. Um. Think it is not undone. Alright. I'm just tying a San Diego jam knot. Like nothing too bad like the Palomar. The thing about the Palomar knot is that you have a super long tag end. So. And you can't use it for fluorocarbon because it really won't work. But. I'm gonna just wait for this rain to calm down a little and then we'll get back out there. So, see you in a little. Okay, the rain slowed down a little bit. I'm gonna leave my bag in here, but I'm gonna take my bait cast from my rod. I mean, my bait cast from my lure out here. We're gonna 
try and catch some bass on the black and blue chatterbait. Can't go wrong with a chatterbait at all. Chatterbaits are like probably one of my, well, they're obviously my favorite bass lure, but and of course the rain gets heavier. Okay, we're gonna have to try to make this quick. Oh yeah, it's getting heavy. I'm gonna have to turn back around. Yeah, this my big caster will cast pretty far, especially with this one. See how this goes. Okay, so push it up one. Oh. Okay, it worked pretty well. Yep, it's it's raining pretty hard. All right, we gotta go. All right, all right, we gotta go. All right, yep, we're going. Oh. Here we go. And we're getting in this tree. All right, we're getting rained out, so we're probably gonna have to call this short today. So I'll just show you my chatterbait trailer real quick. So it's like these, this weird bug. It's obviously black and blue, and then I think green pumpkin on the other side. Pretty cool though. I'm just going to the pavilion though. Okay, so I just checked. It's supposed to rain for the rest of the day. And it's obviously pouring down right now. So we're going to have to call this one short. Got nothing today. Hopefully this weekend or tomorrow or something. We'll actually catch some. Alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.